Hey there! This is Teacher Lab Podcast, episode one hundred and eighty-five, English with Disney Plus Modern Family Vocabulary Booster. My name's Ola, and I've been teaching English since two thousand and twelve. I believe you can eliminate your language blockade. You can speak English with more confidence, slay that fear, and enjoy easy communication. Visit my website for full transcripts and worksheets to each episode. Visit my shop at teacherola.com and enjoy your journey to fluency. Happy learning! Hello there! Another English live class behind us. This time we met to talk about the first episode of Modern Family. You can purchase access to that English live class with Modern Family in my shop at teacherola.com. What you get is access to the recording from our lesson. Additionally, you'll receive materials to help you get ready for the lesson. It's a checklist and a list of questions. After watching the recording of English live class, you get to do your homework. It's all Also included, this will help you memorize the expressions from the show. Today, I've decided to pick ten phrases from the checklist for further practice. Let's begin. One, it's way too short. The adverb "way" is used to intensify the meaning of an adjective, usually indicating that something is more extreme or more intense than expected or than usual. It adds emphasis to the adjective, making it stronger and more expressive. Here are two example sentences. That movie was way too long. I'm way too tired to go out tonight. Two, I was out of control growing up. To be out of control is a phrase that means that something or someone is unable to be managed or unable to be regulated properly. It shows that the situation is becoming too difficult or too dangerous to handle, and it is impossible to prevent the negative consequences. Example sentences. When the fire started in the building, it quickly became out of control, and firefighters had to evacuate the entire area. His anger was out of control, and he said things he regretted later. Three. Let's take it down a notch. Take it down a notch is an idiomatic expression that means to reduce the intensity, level of excitement, or energy, or to calm down, relax. It is often used to advise someone to decrease their aggressive behavior, tone, or volume. Example sentences: Hey, you're getting a little too loud. Can you take it down a notch? The boss told me to take it down a notch because my enthusiasm was making the other employees feel uncomfortable. Four. I wanted to talk her off for the last six weeks. To talk somebody off. It's a phrasal verb that means to persuade or convince someone to abandon a position, course of action, or idea. It's often used to describe a situation where someone is on the brink of making a bad decision, and another person tries to persuade them to change their mind. Here are these examples. I had to talk him off quitting his job because he was angry with his boss. I talked my friend off taking a risky investment opportunity. Five. Love knows no race, creed, or gender. A creed is a set of beliefs or principles that guide someone's actions or thoughts. It is a formal statement of faith, often associated with religious or spiritual beliefs, but can also refer to a set of values or principles that guide a group. Or an organization. For instance, the school's creed is to provide a safe and inclusive learning environment for all students. Six. I guess that works for me. That works for me. It's a casual and idiomatic expression used to express agreement or approval of an idea or proposal. It tells that the suggested solution. Our plan is acceptable and suitable for the speaker. Example sentences: I suggest we meet at the coffee shop at three p.m. That works for me. See you there. How about we order pizza for dinner? That works for me. I love pizza. 
Seven, stop being so hard on money. To be hard on someone is a phrase that means to criticize or reprimand someone harshly. It can also mean to expect a lot from someone, too much. Let me illustrate the meaning of these phrases. She's been through a lot lately, so don't be too hard on her. The coach is hard on the players because he wants them to perform at their best. 8. Would you get in the spirit of things? Is another idiomatic expression and it means to participate enthusiastically, enjoyably in an event or an activity. It implies that the person is not showing enough enthusiasm or energy and is being urged to join in with the others. For example, we're all wearing costumes for the party. Would you get in the spirit of things and dress up too? It's a celebration, so put on a smile and would you get in the spirit of things? 9. You're a little better off. To be better off. It's a phrase that means to be in a more favorable situation or to have a higher standard of living. It can refer to a person or a group of people who are better situated financially, socially or in terms of general well-being. Sentences. We're better off taking the highway instead of the back roads. It'll be faster. She's better off without him. He wasn't treating her well. 10. We somehow fit together. To fit together is a phrasal verb that means to be compatible, to complement each other or to combine seamlessly. It can be used to describe the way two or more things connect physically, or how different ideas, plans, or elements can work well together. Two examples. The puzzle pieces fit together perfectly. The proposal for the project didn't fit together and we had to revise it several times before it was accepted. Here you have it. 10 expressions I picked from The Modern Family, Episode 1, Season 1. Listen to some of the sentences once again and this time say them out loud. That movie was way too long. That movie was way too long. His anger was out of control and he said things he regretted later. His anger was out of control and he said things he regretted later. Hey, you're getting a little too loud. Can you take it down a notch? Hey, you're getting a little too loud. Can you take it down a notch? I had to talk him off quitting his job because he was angry with his boss. I had to talk him off quitting his job because he was angry with his boss. The school's creed is to provide a safe and inclusive learning environment for all students. The school's creed is to provide a safe and inclusive learning environment for all students. I suggest we meet at the coffee shop at 3 p.m. That works for me. See you there. I suggest we meet at the coffee shop at 3 p.m. That works for me. See you there. She's been through a lot lately, so don't be too hard on her.
she's been through a lot lately, so don't be too hard on her. It's a celebration, so put on a smile and would you get in the spirit of things? It's a celebration, so put on a smile and would you get in the spirit of things? She's better off without him. He wasn't treating her well. She's better off without him. He wasn't treating her well. The puzzle pieces fit together perfectly. The puzzle pieces fit together perfectly. Now, go to your inbox and get the worksheet to test yourself. Translate 10 sentences into English. If you're not a member of Top People, download the worksheet from teacherola.com forward slash 185. Otherwise, just go to your inbox. Don't forget to visit my shop at teacherola.com and get access to English Live class with that very episode of Modern Family we've talked about today. Watch the film and see the whole context for all those sentences. If you find this episode useful, tell your friends about my podcast. Thank you so much for doing so and I'll see you next Wednesday. Happy learning. Take care, stay fearless and say it out loud. Bye. Masz blokadę językową. Dużo rozumiesz, ale nie mówisz płynnie. Brakuje Ci słów, czasem tych najprostszych. Nie potrafisz szybko reagować. Jak masz coś powiedzieć po angielsku, zżera Cię stres. Masz blokadę językową, bo rządzi Tobą strach. Na szczęście można nauczyć się mówić swobodnie. Serio, można nauczyć się mówić swobodnie. Weź udział w darmowym wyzwaniu Powiedz Coś. Wejdź na stronę powiedzcoś.pl. Zapisz się na darmowe wyzwanie. Your journey to fluency starts now. Powiedzcoś.pl